The allegations of Maria Cahill have been at the centre of the media and the political system, north and south, in recent times. And no one doubts that Maria has been through great distress. I have never doubted that she suffered abuse. And like every other citizen, she's fully entitled to truth and justice. Over the course of the past week, Maria Cahill has made serious allegations against myself and other Sinn Féin members. While I'm very mindful of the trauma that she has suffered, I and the others she has named reject these allegations. And they, these allegations, have been seized upon in the most cynical, calculated and opportunistic way by our political opponents. Their aim has little to do with helping victims of abuse, but everything to do with following their own narrow political agendas. The serious and sensitive issues of abuse must be dealt with in a victim-centered way by the appropriate authorities. Instead, they have been politicized in the Dáil, the Assembly Chamber and in the media. I am very conscious that a young woman is at the centre of this controversy. So let me be very, very clear. Abuse is wrong. It cannot and must not be tolerated. Let me be equally clear. Sinn Féin has not engaged in any cover-up of abuse at any level of this party. This accusation is a vile slur on the thousands of decent, upstanding Republican people right across this island. Those Sinn Féin members to whom Maria Cahill spoke have said that they believed that she had been a victim of abuse and that she had suffered trauma. They assured me that they did all that they could to support her. And that's what I did also. The Taoiseach, the Fianna Fáil leader and some media commentators have tried to draw comparisons between the actions of Sinn Féin members in this case and that of the Catholic Church in dealing with abuse allegations. A cursory examination of the facts gives the lie to that ridiculous assertion. The Catholic hierarchy and the state, not just the hierarchy, the Catholic hierarchy and the state presided over institutionalized abuse for decades. It was systemic and deliberate practice. In sharp contrast, Sinn Féin has encouraged victims to speak out. All the Sinn Féin members who spoke to Maria Cahill acted in good faith to support her. They advised her to speak to her family, to seek counselling or to approach social services. Her great uncle, Joe Cahill, at my request, asked her to go to the IUC. And now even Joe is depicted as a sex abuser by some of the media. This has been deeply hurtful to his wife Annie, their children and grandchildren, whose agenda is served by this despicable rubbish. Some sections of the media, in particular the independent group, have taken these allegations against Sinn Féin, added to them and reported them as fact. They speculate with ill-concealed glee about how much damage this controversy will do to me or Sinn Féin. For me, that's not important. Dealing with the issues is what is important. While rightfully criticising the idea of kangaroo courts, they have set themselves up as judge and jury. And this is not journalism in any objective or normal sense, but a campaign with a clear political agenda. This society is merging from decades of conflict. That conflict caused widespread hurt and suffering, as did the absence of structures and the institutions which are the norm in peaceful democratic societies. There are many legacy issues arising from the conflict. And Sinn Féin accepts, and we have been front and centre in our responsibility to help bring about the resolution of these issues. But that is not our responsibility alone. The governments and the other parties must deal 
with the past also. It is clear that victims include a wider category than those killed or injured. They include those badly served or mistreated by the forces of the state or by armed groups, including the Irish Republican Army. How the various protagonists dealt with the issue of sexual abuse is clearly one of the legacy issues which needs to be resolved as part of the necessary business of dealing with the past. However, there is an onus on all of us to meet the needs of victims of abuse and the concerns of the community in the here and now, to do what we can today. And to the maximum extent that this can be dealt with now, it should be dealt with. I have already set out the circumstances in which the IRA sought to deal with some cases of abuse when asked to do so by families and victims. I have acknowledged that while IRA volunteers were acting in good faith, the IRA was not equipped to deal with these difficult matters. But the clock cannot be turned back. Sinn Féin cannot change what happened in the past. But we can acknowledge failure. And that is what I have done. Everyone, including us, has a duty to ensure that the mistakes of the past are not repeated. IRA actions did fail victims of abuse. As Uchtaron, Hinn Féin, I have acknowledged that. I am sorry for that. I apologise for that. This week, in the Dáil, the Taoiseach disgracefully twisted and sought to misrepresent what I said on this issue. He and the Fianna Fáil leader have shown a callous disregard for the facts as they turn the Dáil Chamber into an episode of reality television. Neither the Taoiseach nor the Fianna Fáil leader has ever sought to meet with me to address the false allegations that they make against me and others in Sinn Féin. Instead, they have rushed into the media with their vindictive claims. Mr. Kenny and Mr. Martin have done the very thing they accuse Republicans of. They have set aside the judicial process and the rights of citizens before the law. They have ignored the acquittal of those they accuse. The Taoiseach has also claimed that sexual abusers were moved. His words, not mine, that sexual abusers were moved to Donegal, to Dublin, to Louth. He has claimed that he has knowledge of alleged child abusers from the north who are living in the south. He says that others have given him information identifying these alleged child abusers. He has raised alarm and concern. Has the Taoiseach gone to the Gardaí with this information? Has he insisted that those who give him this information go to the Gardaí? If not, why not? It's up to the Gardaí or the PSNI to investigate and to prosecute anyone they suspect of child abuse or respective of who they are, where they come from, or what organisation they may belong to. I have no knowledge of the claims that the Taoiseach is making. I have already called on anyone who has any information whatsoever about any case of sexual abuse or any allegation of sexual abuse to come forward to the authorities north or south. They will have the full support of Sinn Féin in so doing. No one should be living in fear. No child should be at risk. I'm calling also on former IRA volunteers who may have any information about any allegations of child abuse to pass this on to the appropriate authorities. That is to the PSNI and Garda Shikana, Social Services, the HSE, or any of the advocacy groups or helplines which deal with sexual abuse cases. This could also be done through any of the statutory and voluntary organisations which offer up confidential 24-hour helplines. These agencies are properly equipped to pursue these matters. Secrecy has surrounded abuse in Ireland. It was taboo to discuss and some victims, understandably, were very fearful to disclose. 
The only way to face this problem is to support victims and to empower them to speak out. Republicans are reflective of wider society on this island. Abusers can be found in all walks of life. I know this myself. Any abuser within republicanism has done grievous wrong to their victims and sullied the republican cause. But they are not in any way representative of the thousands or the tens of thousands of republican activists who served the republican cause in the ranks of the Irish Republican Army and Sinn Féin. They are not representative of the tens of thousands of Republican prisoners who served hard time for the Republican cause. They are not representative of our patriot dead or their families. There are Republican families in every single parish in Ireland. Good men, good women who kept faith in hard times. There are 10,000 citizens in the ranks of Sinn Féin today, representing hundreds of thousands of Republican voters, the length and the breadth of this island. And the politicisation of this sensitive and difficult issue by Antishok and the Féin Fáil leader comes at a time when we in Sinn Féin represent a real alternative to the Conservative parties that have failed citizens since partition. When challenged by me and the doll, Mr. Kenny conceded that there are many decent people in Sinn Féin. Let me tell you, Taoiseach, we don't need to be told that by you. <laughs> we know that. We also know that we're not part of any conspiracy to protect child abusers or to cover up abuse. So the difficult issues raised by Maria Cahill must be addressed. There are processes for doing this. They should be applied and respected. But let me be clear also, this will not be achieved by the blatant efforts to demonize Sinn Féin and Republicans throughout Ireland.